Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hazelton and if you haven't already please like, comment, and subscribe. For this video I plan to go over how to make a wide world journal for Amazon KDP using free websites. So for this video I'm going to be using Canva and right now they have a really great free website for people to use. At least in my opinion I think it's one of the better and easier ones to use. And they do have a pro version that you have to pay for but you don't need that in order to do what we're going to get done today, at least as of right now. So to get started, you're going to hit create a design in the top right hand corner, and then you're going to want to go to custom size. For this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a wide ruled eight and a half by 11 interior for a notebook. So we're going to want to have 8.625 for a width, so I'm just going to type that in here, change it to inches. For height, you're going to want 11.25. We need to have this a little bit extra because this is going to be a bleed PDF document. And to give a general description of what bleed and no bleed is, is bleed means that anything outside of the margins will also be printed. And no bleed means that they will be cut off and not printed. So then since this is going to be a notebook, we want everything to be printed because we want the lines to go throughout the entire page. So that's why we need to add a little bit to account for the margins. So then you're going to hit create new design. And you can make this any size you would like. Find eight and a half to be a common size for a notebook. Another common size would be a six by nine. And you would just have to make sure you add those extra measurements while you make your notebook. So you can title this anything you want. I'm just going to title it wide ruled um, notebook. For now, uh, it should pop up with a blank white page and this little pop up on the left hand side. If it doesn't pop up, you can just hit templates or elements, whatever you're looking for. Uh, we want to be in the element section to make this notebook and you're going to want to select a line. You can either search line up here or usually it's just listed right in the main page. And you're going to want to extend this all the way over on both sides. It's okay if you go over because it will cut it off for you. You're going to want this to be black. You can change the color if you want to, but for a standard notebook, I recommend using black. You're going to want to change the line weight to one. So you can type in or use the bar. And then you're going to move your line up to about here. Um, you can kind of guess where you want it or if you want to get really picky. You can go to File, Show Guides, and you can get your own guide and do specific measurements. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that, and I'm just going to guess and put the line right there. So for a wide world notebook, you want to have about 0.4 inches between each line. So in order to do that, you're going to want to click this square on the left hand side, and you're going to shorten the height by using these arrows. And you're going to put the height at about 0.4. It doesn't show you the decimals past that, so just put it in a general area that you think would be a great fit, and that will work. So you're going to line it up with your other line, and then just simply copy and paste, which I use Control c and then Control v or you can do this duplicate sign up here, or you can do Control d And then to speed things up a bit, I like to group these together, do control V again, and this just makes it go by a little bit faster. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit just so that I can select my rectangle. I'm going to line it up with this line, move these over so they're evenly spaced, and I'm going to do the same thing again. Group, control V. Group. And you're just going to repeat this process until you've completely filled the page. So this can be a little bit tedious, but you only have to do this once because then you can just copy all of the pages. So once you do it one time, it really won't be that bad. So I'm going to zoom in again just so that I can select this rectangle on its own. Move those lines up, zoom out, see how close I am. I'm just going to hit paste again since I already pre-copied. 
um, plenty of lines. Actually, I'm going to group these, change my mind. Copy, paste. This will be plenty of lines, way more than we need, but that's perfectly okay because it will cut off the excess at the bottom. Bring the rectangle down. Zoom back out a little bit. Move those up. And I'm going to ungroup these at the bottom because I don't want this extra line here. You can keep it if you'd like to, but I personally would rather not. And then I'm going to zoom back in just to make sure I don't accidentally delete my other lines. Delete this rectangle. So there you have it. Then you have your wide ruled notebook page. And you just want to make sure all your lines are completely past the sides, which is why I like to go a little bit extra anyways to ensure I don't miss any and accidentally don't have a line that goes all the way across. So now I like to change the view, which you can click down here with this little square. And I'm just going to copy and paste until I get to the number of pages I would like. Now Canva only allows you to have 100 pages at a time. So if you want to make a 120 page document, you're going to have to use a PDF merger. So first I'm just going to get to 20, which you can highlight all of these, copy and paste. You can hit duplicate six pages here at the top. There's a bunch of different ways to do it, so just do however you feel comfortable. Going to just select this one so I get to 20. And then I'm just going to hit download. And you're going to want to make sure this is PDF download. And once that's complete, now I'm going to get to 20, 100 pages after this 20. That way, if I have a 100 page document and a 20 page document, when I combine them, I'll have 120. So I'm just going to keep duplicating my pages until I get to 100. This can be a little bit slow and laggy. I'm not sure if it's the program itself or if it's my computer or internet, but usually when I'm trying to copy a lot of pages at once, it tends to get a little bit slow and a little bit laggy. Like right now, it's a little bit frozen, but that's okay. If you just give it some time, it's going to load. And you can make these pages however you want. You can change the size, you can add designs to them. Um, if you want to make them a little more detailed than a plain wide rolled notebook, that's totally up to you and what you would like to do. You can use this interior for multiple different books as well. If you're making different covers, it's just really easy to have one simple interior that you can upload to them all. So you don't, you shouldn't have to do this for every book as long as you save it and clearly label it so that way you're using it for the correct books. We're almost there. Like I said, this can be a little bit tedious, but once you do it once, then you normally don't have to do it again unless you want to change the design. So now we're finally at 100 pages, I'm going to hit download, PDF, all 100 pages, download yet again. And once you see it completely downloaded, you can open up a new tab and just Google Adobe free PDF merger. I already have it open and it's super easy to use. All you do is hit select files, click the ones that you want, and it merges it pretty much instantaneously. It might take a minute or so, and then you just download the file that it gives you. And usually it labels it combined uh, PDFs or something like that. You can rename it if you'd like to. I'm not going to actually show you that because it'll show all of my documents and some of them are personal, so I do not want to share that publicly here, but that's how you would do it. And then you simply go to Amazon KDP and upload this interior uh, using the bleed PDF and then you have your wide world notebook interior. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, please comment below and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. And stay tuned for the next video or check out the previous videos that I already have. If you have any ideas or things that you would like a tutorial on, please let me know and I will do my best to get new videos out as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.